to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Valentine's Day lookbook. And this is going to entail a bunch of looks from casual, classy, sexy, to a night out with your friends or with your boo. So we have a lot of looks. So let's just get right into the video. With this first look, I was envisioning a little something more casual. Let's say your boyfriend wants to take you to a painting class, to a picnic. This outfit is simple yet very cute. We got the white tank top. This is kind of more sexy because of the straps. They're not your basic spaghetti strap top. Then I have this skirt, this floral skirt. It's a bunch of little flowers and it's red. And let me just say this, Valentine's Day does not mean all the outfits are gonna be red as you will see from the rest of the fits. So keep that in mind. This skirt is cute, flowy, and I think even a little sexy because you get to you know, put your little leg out, like Sex in the City, you know, sexy. I paired it off with some just regular sandals. I like the yellow at the bottom because it elevates the look even more. It's not just white and red, you get a bunch of different colors. As long as the colors tie in together, go for it, okay? I even did my nails yellow, so stop being a basic white nail girly, okay? Elevate the look, and then of course, you know, your little accessories. I paired it with this coach purse right here because you're not paying, so might as well pack light. Just your lip gloss and your ID. This is what it looks like up close. Simple, dangling, quick. For the back, I did a little clip with a bow on top. I don't even know if it's in the center, but hopefully it is. If not, you get the picture. This next piece is a whole different ball game, okay? I think this outfit would be cute if you're going to a very fancy restaurant. I'm talking State 48. I think this is sexy and very elegant. And of course, I did the best I can do with the hair because I kind of want to do hairstyles as well with the look to make it more realistic for the outfit. But I also want to show this with the hair down. And then you can always adjust the collar right there. You can always button it up, but I think it looks way more sexy and classy with no buttons and then of course some classy heels with it no toes out for this look but i guess you could i like a pointed toe whenever you wear something like this a pointed toe heel is where it's at you could also do it without the jacket but i would keep the jacket nearby like this because i don't know it feels a little incomplete without the upper portion of it let me know what you think. Do you think this is too office type for a Valentine's Day or do you think this would be cute? Honestly, I would not wear this to a corporate job because no. I also included a heart necklace, you know, a little piece so it's not so bare in the neck. And these heels are Manolo Blink. down now with this look personally i would go for all straight but curl hair is cute too or even a slick bun in the back like this cute on to the next look all right this outfit y'all better eat up because it took me forever to put this corset on the back is a statement piece on its own i love corsets just for that reason look at that it has my tummy all sucked in looks like i have no tummy that's the goal the hairstyle that i wanted to do was this ponytail up because the main focus is not your hair it's the body so with your hair up it's definitely a more of a grown woman look put my little watch on and then i did some jeans i wanted to do some leather pants but the leather pants that i have are i need better leather pants so that could also be an option and then just some basic black heels and then for my earpiece i put this on so this little thing is actually from shein and it's like a i don't know ear hook thing i don't know but i love the red right there it's definitely something different and not every single girl is gonna be wearing them so you're gonna you're gonna stand out he's gonna be like what is that this is what it would look like with the hair down again i would put the hair backwards if you are gonna have it down that way it doesn't take away from this moment here
stay. The next one is this three piece set or two piece depending on how you want to wear. You can take this off. And I decided to top it with this simple purple purse. And then I have some snake heels. Me personally, I don't like a high, high heel. So something where I can walk, I like. What I really like about this look besides a regular piece like this is the fact that these buttons really elevate the look, you know? For me, this would be a hair back, hair down, but hair back as well. I guess you can also wear it like this, you know, like down. That's what you'd be looking at with no jacket. This is the up close of the heel that I picked out. The heel itself is very short and that's what I like. Then the purse. For this next one, Riri was definitely in her bag when she put this on Savage X Fenty. Now, I will say I am wearing shorts under this because in the back, there's a lace and you can see your underwear. Is this an outfit to go out in? Debatable. But if you can make it work, I just wanted to show this off because this is so sexy. I love this. I do just wish that for the reason that there's lace in the back. I wish she would have made something that I can wear out. But for me, this is for the house. Now this is what it looks like up close. I will say if you have a little bit of belly, it will show right here unless you put the skirt a little higher up. So it's just one thing to watch out for. But still sexy. Even this, you could actually wear this out. And then I did basic black heels. These are other heels, but just some basic black heels. I really want to know what you guys think of this outfit. Would you wear this out? Yes or no? No wrong answers. This next one is another casual, maybe even girls night out. We have this sexy v-neck type loose shirt that I got from Target. Tight jeans. The snake heels that you guys saw earlier. And then the statement, one of the main statement pieces is going to be this purse. This color with the black, chef's kiss. But if you don't like it this loose, you can also, you know, put it kind of like, not tight, but put it in the back. That way it kind of looks a little less loose. Then if you have another shirt like this that's white, that could work as well. I've been thinking about you all day, working up the night. For the next category, we're going to do jumpsuits, which I believe it's only two. Here we have this Bad Society jumpsuit. You could even take this to the club, okay? I wore this on my birthday one time. Chef's kiss. Now, I'm not going to lie and say I love the heels because I don't, but I honestly don't have any other white heels. So, after this video, I might throw away these heels. I hate them. You could also wear these with some sneakers, too, depending on the sneakers. Nothing too... Thick. No Air Forces, please. Now this next jumpsuit I got from Fashion Nova years ago. I'm sure they probably still have it on the website or not something similar somewhere else. It is this velvety material. I'm not gonna describe the material, okay? But I love wearing this whenever you want to look sexy. Cause this brown, oh my goodness, look at that. <gasps> This brown is everything. Again, with the basic black heels. I forgot to mention that I also paired it with this other heart necklace, and this one's gold this time. Finally, to the last section, the dresses. I have this very long black dress. Let me get up close, because it has a lot of detail. I don't know how to describe these details, but you get the picture, you see it, it's all over the dress, has detail to it, it's not basic, but you could get away with wearing a basic black dress. That is a staple in your closet, you need a sexy black dress. For whatever the occasion may be, put some red lip on it for Valentine's Day or any other type of event because black and red, they go. Then I paired it with the OG green purse and then the snake heels. Me personally, since I feel like it's a lot going on with the long dress. I feel this is better with the hair up like this, of course, a little better, but you know. This next dress I got from Melrose. I don't know if you have that store anywhere in your town, but just Google it. It's very affordable. I don't really know how to describe this dress other than I love it. The moment I saw it, I had to get it. I love the detail on it, the little flowers. The red with the pops of black. 
I love it. I have never worn this dress out, but maybe this year is going to be the year where I wear it out. And then again, just leave the hair how it was. I feel like that's cute for me. And then it has that little sexy slit, you know, like walk so. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, little leg moment. And then the OG small little coach bag is back. Oh, I've been so busy, but I've been thinking about this next dress, another beauty from Forever 21. Another floral. I don't know. I've been getting into the florals. And again, the pops of colors are gorgeous. Now, I will say with the heels, I don't have the best heels for this fit, but it's okay. Because I honestly don't have a lot of heels. It goes almost to the floor, but just not quite. Now, I am short, so the dress would fit differently depending on your height. What I really like about this dress is these sleeves. You know, you put your hands in there, but voila, you can also take these off. So it can also just be like this by itself. Now me, it's a gorgeous dress, but honestly, I think what really sells the dress is the sleeve. So that's just my opinion. And again, hair up. And I know these niggas mask for Bitch, I'm in a trap with you and we throw it up. Last but not least, I wanted to end it more on a chill note because you don't have to overdo yourself to be sexy or for your man to think you're sexy. Men love a sundress, okay? Especially if you have a butt to fit it. And if not, they don't care. They just, they appreciate your body. I have a lot of these dresses, different colors, black, beige, all colors. So just pick your color. It doesn't have to be purple, but bigger for Valentine's Day, something a little more feminine. So... Paired off with the darker purple purse that we saw earlier. I'm wearing these flats from Target. I love these so much. I think these are my favorite ones of all time. I love these so much. I get a lot of compliments when I go out with the sundress. Less is more. And then this is what it looks like up close. I got these sundresses from Sheen a couple years ago, but I'm sure you can find them for a good deal there as well, other ones. And this kind of reminds me of the Skims dresses. And that completes today's lookbook. If you liked any of them or if you're thinking about wearing any of them out, please let me know. Or if not, tag me some pictures on Instagram, okay? I would love to hear from you. Hopefully this gave you some inspo. And with that being said, I'll see you next time. Please consider liking this video, comment, share, and subscribing, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.